Keith Lombardi sold five homes in 23 days when a lot of other people were worried about the election and the end of the year. He's going to share how he's helping clients next. So if you like what you hear, you get some value out of this. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. And if you want to schedule a call with our team about how Keith can help you, you can do that with the link in the comments. So five sales in in 23 days. Most people don't do that all year, right? And you were on a little bit of a mission this fall, I felt like. It was very intentional. What were some of the keys? Because a lot of realtors, you've been doing this a long time, they start to quit this time of year, and they're just talking about 2025 already. Well, and I mean, I, I, I came into having this this great period after having such not of a great third quarter. But really, it's all about communication and, and trying to always come from a place of value. I think one of the great things that we do is by having the weekly meetings and then we can really provide the real time data of what is going on, you know, uh, in the market this week compared to last week uh, is really great. A lot of people are coming and asking what's going on with interest rates. So being to real time, be able to explain that to them really helps. It shows that you're knowledgeable Uh, with me. You know, being licensed in multiple states was really a big thing. There is a, a lot of people in Pennsylvania who are transitioning to Delaware. I uh, have done more business in Delaware this year than I have in years past, which is a great thing, not complaining. Uh, my biggest thing is that kind of always just being there. I, I have a lot of different clients that are in different situations and just trying to cater to them or, or be that ear. Maybe they need to vent about things. Sometimes their situation is a little bit unique and just adjusting that approach and being helpful in whatever way that I can is, I, is big. I love that because you know, you've got to have empathy in this business because people are always so stressed out when they're moving. So you mentioned understanding the market. So what were some of the things maybe that were misconceptions these some of these clients had versus what actually happened and how did you guide them through that? So a lot of people were, of course, concerned with the rates um, and making them understand that, yes, the rates may not be optimal right now, but they are in a position where they're going to move around a little bit. Eventually, they will come down. And obviously, the best thing is that not as many people were actively looking right now. So there's more opportunity in the market for homes that are maybe on the, the you know, sitting sure. on the market a little bit longer than usual. Um then you're also able to go in either, you know, at a price, under a price. We're still having inspections done. So, and then also, I think it's important to understand the specific areas. Um, obviously, great point. You know, uh, people that are looking in an area specific to a certain school district. The the approach that you have to take when writing an offer there, compared to some place where it's not as big of a factor, is very specific. So you have to cater to their specific goals. I, I love that you're talking about making it about the person, not just trying to slam home a sale. And also, there is there is an opportunity right now in the marketplace because there's less activity. Even right. though rates are a little higher, you can renegotiate the rates. That's great advice. So what, I mean, how did, how did, how did your clients, were they receptive to this? Obviously, they went under contract, so the answer right. is yes. But like, did they, did they have to take your word for it? Like, did, they, did it take them a little bit of time? Because I, I think everyone thinks there's like these magic things we right. say that'll end up helping somebody, but that's usually not the case. Well, and I think that's also what's big when it comes to the amount of communication. Um, Keeping in contact, at least speaking to them on an actual phone call once a week is huge, not just shooting them out of text. and like, Hey, what's going on? Um, So, and and really, obviously, it's it's very different compared with sellers and buyers. So specifically, you know, we had a listing that wasn't quite moving because it was new construction, uh, things like that. So, They were getting very frustrated and just making them realize what the end goal was and to focus on, listen, you want to sell, it will sell. We have to do a few things. Let's adjust it to make it, you know, um, let's get it down to a price where it's going to open up to another group of buyers. But what I'm hearing is you're, you're talking, you're asking questions and giving information and you're not having any expectation when it's actually going to pop for these people. And that's really important because people do things for their reasons, not ours. Right. And, and a lot of agents, like you may, like I, and there's that pressure, right? Hey, I got to pay my bills. I got to do whatever else. But these people don't care and, and they shouldn't, by the way. So I love like what I heard is, you know, your scripts, you know what to say. You asked a lot of great questions. You gave advice and then you kind of worked them through the process and had a, multiple things in the fire all at once. I mean, right. Which I don't think is that complicated. I mean, how many times have you heard that before? Well, I mean, these were some of these people were people that I had just met. Their situation just <laughs> happened to you know, work this way, but there was a few of them that I had known a while. I've been working with them a while. And sometimes that's what's going to take. And there is, this is, this is a long game business, um, which is, and it's, it's not just from a deal. I mean, it's, it's helping people with their goals, but while keeping in touch with your goals. So, I mean, there's going to be times when you're going to have people that they're so new to the process, it's going to take six months to a year. So you have to just understand that and cater to that, reach out to them that way. 
some people are going to be ready to rip and roar and you have to adjust your approach. Uh, being available. Availability can be the best ability. I agree with that. Because sometimes there's things that hit on the market and you have to be able to get to them right way. So trying to make sure that I'm keeping myself available while also not spreading myself too thin, you know, is can be difficult. Too. But luckily with these people, you know, it all just happened to work out. So. Well, I mean, everything Keith said here, this is how you run a real estate business, right? You got to be flexible. You got to be available. You also got to have like some some boundaries yeah. at the same time, which is tough. You got kids and a family. I mean, exactly. we, we, we we talk about this stuff all the time. And what, what I really liked you said, what you said is that like there's all these excuses, right? We talked about this not too long ago. There's not like we just got through an election. Now it's the holidays. Now it's the new year. And people, there's all these different things that come up. But when you just help people and right. get clear on their goals, when the right opportunity comes up, the wave kind of hits you. And I think that's that might have been a little bit of what happened here, too, which is awesome. Well, and a lot of the people that are really aggressive when they want to look, they don't care about those things. Oh, like yeah. there was plenty of people that, you know, they ask, we want to wait till after the election. And like you said, you know, the data shows that most housing markets actually increase. And in yeah. if they're coming up with excuses, maybe they're not actually ready to start looking right now. And that's OK. Uh, but then those who are really ready, they're not going to care about those things, which is the same thing with the interest rates. So many people came off of the sidelines when the Fed cut the federal funding rates, even knowing that it wasn't going to initially have an effect on the mortgage interest rates, just because they knew they were eventually going to head in the right direction and were trying to get out there before the wave. So, and that's, you know, sometimes we do it based on season, you know, with the fall market and the, and the spring market, you just kind of have to adjust your approach toward what your specific goal is. And I, do that by just being available to help them reach that goal. When you make it about your people, good things happen. So what advice do you have for an agent that maybe is trying to catch a wave like this? What, what would you tell that person? So obviously communication is key. Um, you have to make sure that you're taking really good notes when you're speaking to people. So that way, obviously, you can go back and reference them. But that also helps you you know, set up what your follow up is going to be. Making sure the follow-up is right for the type of client. If there's someone that's really hot and looking, you got to be in contact with them. Yeah. Could be every day. It yeah. could be every other day. It's true. Um, and then if there's someone that they're kind of looking, they're just kind of dipping their toes and maybe you talk to them once a week, maybe every couple of weeks. And then you have people where they could be a um, one-month checkup, three-month checkup. Mm -hmm. So asking questions is huge. Taking good notes. Finding out what their motivations are at the beginning, you know, going through and asking those very important questions because that's going to tell you exactly what you need to know. And you give someone an opportunity to talk, they're going to talk and just take all that information in. Could not agree more. It's all about relationships, right, at the end of the day. So there's so much good stuff to unpack here. If you're an agent and you're watching this, I would like watch this three times and take some notes. I heard scripts, regular calls, follow-up, building rapport, being available, there's a reason why you did five deals in 23 days. It's an incredible <laughs> number. So you want to follow Keith. Here's all his information. He's the kind of agent I'd hire if I was in the marketplace. Check him out here. Good stuff, my man. Thank you.